rest in peace, mud scraper. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It is now the off season. Figure I'd do a little update what we got going on and uh, plans for 2022, as well as just kind of show you what uh, what we what we've been doing. So I've been waging this war against these yellow jackets for about a week now. I've got about three or four bites on separate occasions uh, with these freaking suckers. There's a nest somewhere over there next to this dirt track we've been working on. I got track prep perfect now. Like it is smooth. I got good moisture in it. I can't run on it because them suns are getting me. So tonight, pour some gas down there. We're going to burn them. We tried the insecticide. We tried burying them. Whoa, one almost buzzed right behind me. We've tried a couple things, but I have a transponder system coming for this track. I'm trying to put the walls around it. I'm trying to do the inner wall with the PVC and can't get no work done because every time I try to go out there, I get stung. But these leaves are a never ending battle as well. It's blowed off the trailer. I got some parts coming in for it. I got a whole wheel bearing kit and just because it's something I probably should have done when i bought the trailer but we just didn't have time so then we got here what september we started racing october and i put a new body on the car got moved in did a bunch of other things that september month and pretty much this is the first weekend that we aren't doing anything we were out of town we were in st louis last weekend for thanksgiving i got engaged uh just always something going on and putting that lawn sweeper to work and I got these guys I've been working on. I got this ugly one running. I might do a motor swap so I can get this cool looking one running. But these are pretty fun to mess around on. We'll go up in this shop and see what's going on with the late model. So that's what y'all care about. In here, take a peek at this late model. We got her all torn apart, torn down. Carbs are sent out. My 110 carb and another E85 carb got sent out. Get ready to tear these shocks down, send those out to Shorty to get refreshed. I need a new right front one. So after that race to Tri-County, we heard it. Uh, you could see the exposed O-ring right there. That guy, so we kind of went into Southern with the hurt right front shock, which I didn't want to put good stuff on for that track and just from what I've heard and now I see why. Uh, but we heard it some more, so got to get a whole new right front. And I needed some changing on this one anyways with valving, with uh, compression and rebound. So, got Shorty working on that, and I'm going to send him the rest of them. Now, I'm getting ready to bolt on all new front end parts. I need to order spindles. This one got hurt. Something in here is bound up. Um, just going to order new spindles. So I have new uppers and lowers with uh, FK rod ends, how ball joints, you know, best of the stuff I could buy. But we also hurt the rack. If I hurt the rack, I mean, we exploded that sucker. Like, that is... Uh, Shouldn't be like that. So got a new used one coming. So in my last video, I said I was wanting a quicker rack. So I found one. That's a four inch rack. Come to find out I got a four and a half inch. So hopefully that will help me transition these cars a little better coming from the mod light. Uh, it'll kind of hinder me on the bigger tracks uh, when you don't need as much um, steering quickness, you know, to be less twitchy and not overdrive the car. But I think a quicker tra quicker rack will help me on the two local tracks I'm gonna be running at weekly. So got that coming. Once it comes in, I'm just gonna send it straight to Sweet to get refreshed, uh, just as a safety precaution. I don't want to trust someone else's used rack if they had it as a spare. You know, you don't know the history on it. But best to send it out. Make sure it's 100% before I put it in this car and go through all the headache and then you know go on the track and end up junking this thing in the wall because the steering rack failed. So. That should be on its way. Guy said he sent it out about a day ago. Ain't, or no, three days ago, and ain't seen it yet, so who knows? I do need to hang a new body on the car, but we are kind of running out of funds. I did get picked up a new sponsor, but I need to put a whole new nose on. I'm gonna order that probably today. Um, but it sounds like my buddy's here. Just gonna see what he's got. Hell yeah. What's going on, man? How's it going, dude? 
Anyways, he's going to help his his wife unload. We're gonna do some car work on his on this Camaro here. So pretty cool car he got. He's been trading up. So he started out as like a two thousand dollar Chevy Silverado 1500, and he is like wound up up to here. He got a he traded that with some cash for a Corvette, like a 70s Corvette, and he traded that Corvette for this guy. So he's been doing it right. As far as doing a new body, it is now 115 bucks a sheet of this stuff and i can't use that one that's the pepsi blue i need to get cobalt blue so i think i need about seven sheets i need probably one for this front piece some scraps there i need two on each side and one maybe one two for the back so i need a, i need quite a bit Got his car tuned up pretty good. Uh, adjusted his floats and set his idle. Uh, probably needs a rebuild. Car probably was sitting for a while before we got it. Uh, it's just got a Holley 650 on it. Kind of similar to what we run on these. It's got 350 small block. I think it's kind of board 30 over it. It's got a good cam in it. You can hear it. Um, so it's been built and it's got the wide tires on the back, skinnies up front. It's a drag car. <laughs> Oh, and it's got a fuel cell in the trunk. The regular fuel tank's out, and they cut a hole in the trunk. They put the fuel cell in there like a racing one. Um, pretty cool car. I kind of like to get a classic, but this thing eats up way too much time and money for that kind of thing. Yeah, aside from working on this thing, just waiting on paychecks to come in, and that's kind of as we slowly rebuild this car back up. Um, hopefully, we make it by February. If not, I'll just bolt on this whole body and run it some more till we can you know, get to where we can afford to put a new one on. I do need a new nose. This one's just all kinds of falling apart. And it's just, it's all mangled and jangled and it's all, I need to mount it different as well. Raise it up some, but in the meantime, we'll be messing around with these little one RC late models. Like I said, I got the timing system coming in and trimmed up the nose, get some more clearance on it. Getting ready to go blow up that hornet's nest once the sun goes down some more. But we'll be messing around with these guys and just having fun. Hey man, make tell us. Make a trail. Hey, make a trail. Well, so you're not like over it. Hey Matt, tell us what we're about to do. Uh, Hornets, the yellow jackets ain't getting my ass no more. All right, we got the PPE on. Man, I'm tired of these motherfuckers. All right, in case y'all couldn't hear him, I'm trying to gas out some yellow jacks. Uh, he's already been stung by him by a couple times. I'm tired of him. I'm trying to race out here, you know. He has PPE on. Should be good. I'm gonna stand back. Come on. Dump it. I'm trying to kill it. gonna piss him off. Oh my god, dude, that's a lot of gas. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's all you, bud. I'd do it at least six to eight feet. That way you're not over it when it blows up. It's gonna knock him on his ass, bro. Yeah. Yeah, oh, these motherfuckers. It got you again? No, I think so. <laughs> Yo, you left the gas over there, bro. I did not catch down there. Oh, Boom! <laughs> it's actually kind of surprised it's not caught up under the ground yet. 
But I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, look out soon for some t-shirts. If y'all are interested in that kind of thing, let me know down below. Um, I do have, I'm going to get the kind of similar wrap reprinted just with different sponsors. Uh, maybe do some hoodies if y'all are also interested. I think I do the hoodies per order. I don't really want to have those on hand. They're pretty pricey to get made. Um, yeah, like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. Take the time out of your day to kind of peep in on what's been going on. Um, yeah, we'll see y'all here once we start doing some body work.